So in this case, guys, we have a pretty looks pretty complicated, right? Um, kind of rational expression with these trigonometric functions. But again, we just talked about the even odd and um, co-function identities. So that's basically what we're going to apply here. So first thing first is let's get rid of all this mess, right? Let's make these nice and like simple trigonometric functions. So using the even odd identities, I recognize the sine of negative x is just going to be negative sine of x, right? Because the only two that are the same are cosine and secant. The cosine, I see, oh, I recognize that pi s minus x. Using co-function identities, I recognize that to be sine of x. Sine of pi s minus x is now the cosine of x. And the tangent of negative x is going to be negative tangent of x. Notice I insert a parentheses, because if you put a negative there, you might think that you have to subtract the two functions, right? And when you're taking a test or something like that, you could be like, oh, crap, but now i got to do that. And you can get confused. <clears throat> but still, our goal here is to simplify this, right? Let's make this easier. Doesn't look like anything divides out, does it? So I could multiply sine and sine, though. And I could probably, it's probably better to put that negative in front. Would you guys agree? So let's put the negative in front. And then since I need to probably simplify this with cosine, why don't I use the quotient identity, right? You guys agree using co 1 over cotangent is probably not going to help me in this problem, right? So what I'll do is I'll put this as a negative sine squared of x. Make sure you have the square for the sine, not on the x. Divided by, I'm putting the negative in front. Cosine of x times 1 sine of x over cosine of x. All right, well now my negatives divide to a positive. My cosines divide out. And I'm left with a sine squared of x all over a sine of x. And that can simplify to just sine of x, right? And there you go. I have simplified this mess all the way down to one single trigonometric function. Do you guys also see how nice and clean I made this? You guys see the equal signs that I connected each and every one? Right? Right? Seriously? Right? You guys are going to put problems on the board now next. So I'm trying to, trying to model some best practices because we know how sloppy some of you guys can get, right? <laughs>